Next on the list is this sugar maple. He's right beside the path here. It's got it's got a decent lean uh, for the uh, for the weight of it. So I'm gonna set up uh, like a floating two to one. So I, I sunk a line in it already. I'm gonna mid line. I'm gonna tie uh, a block and uh, and then I'm gonna run my pull line tied off from an anchor over here through that block and then back to our five to one just to double our pull on this stem to help us get it over okay I'll show you what that looks like got her tied off there Tom and, uh, we're going to yeah no I'm, I'm gonna go off our anchor that we already have set up down there yeah. uh, but I'm gonna do a two to one on it I don't think we've done this before, me and you. Yeah, we will, yeah. So I'm just gonna tie, I'm gonna, you hold on. I'm just trying to figure out where I want this to be floating. Probably work there. Somewhere around there. So if we just tie a, a bow on a bite. Okay, and then slip that stick right in there. So that's what isn't the cinch? Yeah. Makes it easier to untie at the end. I'm gonna put this block on here. Right, so we'll take this line, we'll tie it off somewhere over here to a good tree, and then we'll bring it, well, we can put well, it through now, right? Now. So so this, the terminal end will get tied off to an anchor, and then the other end will get into the five to one. Gotcha. And that'll double our pull on this. Yep. Just do a running bow. Oh yeah, that's gonna be mint. So yeah, anytime you're setting up a system like this, you want your angles to be as close to 180 as you can for the maximum mechanical advantage. So the fact that there's spread here of like 30 degrees or whatever, it's gonna cut down the actual, it's not gonna be a full two to one. You want like, like 
like right on. Yeah, I, anytime you're coming into a pulley, you want to leave the pulley in the same direction for the maximum mechanical. So like ideally, it would be better if we had a tie point. It would be. It, it would be the exact same anchor, if as long as that anchor was strong enough. We're just limited by the rope here, so. Do you remember how to do this? Should I go for a minimum of seven? Okay. So you got the one. So you're gonna have to slip. You're gonna have to slip this one off to get this pulley. Oh, right. See what I'm saying? You try and hold that. Okay. Get that pulley off there. Okay. So get your one on. Okay. This one. Okay. There you go. Good. Okay. Okay. So this is perfect. This gives us enough slack here that we can lock it off and reset yeah. before we get started. So yeah, let's let's max out this five to one. Because it does it is a crazy backline actually. Not crazy, but on sugar maple it's a lot of material. Left. One more. Okay. So then we'll just lock this off. Then crack it out of the cam. Good. Then you can slide that prosthetic all the way up as far as you can reach. It can be hard to crack a prosthetic when it's that tight. Put a bunch of slack in the system. More. I need more slack. Hang on. Just keep feeding slack in here while I pull it. Yeah, just pull a whole bunch. Good. All right, come back here. Get her nice and tight one more time. All right. All right. That's a good starting point. I'll go up and see what it looks like.
Can't find our axe, so I'm gonna use a hammer. You guys good? Yep. Let me pound some wedges before you get pulling. Yep, you can start pulling. You ever? Beauty. Hmm. 